Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2. In this video I will show you my how I retrofitted the daytime running lights to Audi A2 because it is too old and uh, from factory didn't have daytime running lights but it's good that it was already prepared for them. Um, there is a, a pin on the light switch that you can use as a daytime running lights uh, pin that you connect the lights that you want to, to be turned on with the ignition on and then uh, they are turned on. Um, I have explained uh, in details how this works in uh, one video already so I will link it up there or uh, link it in the video description and you can watch there how this uh, pin setup on uh, the light switch of Audi A2 works. Now uh, first uh, I wanted to have two, um, two different uh, uh, configurations uh, one from uh, data from uh, low beams and rear uh, lights so to be turned on this would be for the normal use and the second one was the front fog lights because i wanted uh, it looks great with them turned on so that i would have for example some mitts or something like that uh, i partially succeeded but there are quite a few um, problems with it and it didn't uh, went as I, as I wanted but partially i succeeded so uh, first let's see the setup, current setup that it is working and that I will just keep, uh, I will not uh, do any uh, other mods on this so I'll just keep it and then I will go in the further details um, how I did it and what I wanted to achieve but I was not able to let's go now check how the current setup it works there is a switch, uh, I will show you where uh, there is a switch and uh, with the switch I can um, switch between front fog lights and low beams and let's see how it works I will start with the uh, factory configuration which is uh, if I uh, now uh, my data running lights are on the switch turned off and if I now turn the ignition on nothing is turned on all lights are turned off and if I now go to the parking lights, position switch uh, on the parking lights, only side, front and rear parking lights are turned on. Now I will turn on the low beams, so the low beams are turned on. And if I um, push the switch towards me, the front fog lights turn on. Okay, so this is the factory uh, configuration. And now I will switch my, um, uh, I will uh, switch my switch to the left, which means that low beams are turned on so uh, daytam running lights are in the function of uh, uh, no uh, low beams are in the function of daytam running lights and as you can see at the back nothing is turned on and now if i turn the ignition off the lights uh, uh, front uh, front um, uh, low beams are turned off and if i switch the ignition on the low beams are turned on and now if i go towards the parking lights as you can see the low beams are turned off and only the parking lights are turned on and now it is manually on the low beams so also the uh, rear lights are turned on as from factory I'll put back the switch to position zero and now I will switch my switch from uh, left to zero to middle which means that all is turned off and now to the right and the front fog lights are turned on again in the function of daytime running lights so if i turn the ignition off and uh, everything is off and turn the ignition on only the front fog lights are turned on no lights at the rear and no parking lights or anything and now again if i switch the uh, light switch to the position of parking lights as you can see the front fog lights are turned off in the function of daytime running lights and now these are the low beams without the front fog lights but i can still manually turn them on so if i push towards me the uh, front fog lights do turn on and now i will put back to position zero as you can see front fog lights are turned on in the function of daytime running lights switch uh, key out and key in again they turn on and now i can back turn it off and there is no daytime running lights so this is my final, uh, final, uh, the final configuration that I managed to do without uh, a lot of problems. And this is the current uh, configuration of daytime running lights that I have and they work perfectly. But what I wanted to achieve was that I definitely wanted to have two options. So first one is uh, 
the, as I said, the low beams together with the rear lights and the second one for the shows and so on, only the front fog lights. Sadly, uh, I also wanted to reduce the luminosity on uh, both of them to around 50%, but, and I tried to use for this Gretz uh, uh, bridges and they worked. I needed to connect two grad, uh, three grad uh, bridges um, in, uh, to connect together and it worked, but the problem was that uh, they were really getting very hot. Not hot for 50, 60 degrees, which I would still uh, think it is acceptable, but they went to 990 nine, and also 100 and more. And this was uh, too much of a fire hazard to install. First, I wanted to install this in here because uh, if, if I show you, here is a uh, here is a nice space uh, without any rubber plastic on there or anything but i thought that 100 uh, degrees was uh, too much so then i thought that i would uh, just uh, connect it to the uh, to the in the engine bay so i put through the wires from here from the passenger uh, compartment to the engine bay if i show you you can watch them here you can see it here so here is this uh, red wire, which is uh, connected from the to passenger side to here. And I uh, planned to install these grads bridges here, which is all also a way. But after a few uh, uh, thinking and consideration, I just decided that this is way too much of a fire hazard and that I will not do this. So I just left everything on the 100% luminosity so without reducing the luminosity but okay that that's life and the second thing that i wanted to do as i said i wanted to achieve the front uh, low beams together with the rear lights which is not a problem because there are different pins also for the left and right side lights uh, left and right side lights so front and uh, uh, rear parking lights and it's not a problem you just connect the daytam running lights pin to that uh, pin and it should work yeah it worked but the problem was that then i lost the parking lights so normally when you connect like this only the parking lights uh, turn on and then you have the low beams also additional but when i connected the side lights to the datum running lights pin and also uh, uh, low beams to datum running lights pin when i did this also the low beams turned on and i didn't want to, to have this and also this is uh, probably illegal so i just um, crossed the side lights as data running lights off and now i have only two options only front uh, low beams as you could saw in the video only front low beams or front fog lights and this i definitely wanted to have an option to switch between them so what i did I connected uh, datum running lights pin to the switch and from the switch uh, left uh, left is to fog lights and right is to the to the uh, low beams and also I have an option to just turn off the datum running lights for example if I work something on the car and uh, this definitely is uh, needed on this car so I can just turn the uh, if I turn the ignition on I just put the switch on this middle position and there is no uh, data running lights regarding the switch i really wanted uh, didn't want to do any drilling and the plastic i thought where i could put it so that it would be hidden but down below there is plastic and everything and i just didn't want to drill it so i decided just to uh, put it in the uh, space where the uh, uh, circuit brakes break is uh, so this is how they are called uh, okay let me show you I will, I will remember so here are these the fuses yeah the fuses so I just put it here and as you can see here are the fuses and I just put the switch here and I have now it is in the middle so there is no data running lights I just switch it here and uh, here are the fog lights and if I switch it here it is the front uh, low beams so easy without any problem it's hidden and i can also move it i left uh, some wiring so if i need to uh, replace the fuses 
it's not a problem and it is hidden uh, down nothing is visible and nothing was also drilled so that everything is perfect as it should be anyway these are all the over complications regarding the daytime running lights on Audi A2 I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video saw all the struggles all the problems that I had and uh, I ho also hope that together with the video about the explanation of the pins behind the light switch it will help you to um, um, retrofit the daytime running lights as you want to have on your Audi A2 Thank you for watching, drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is always fun, especially if you drive Audi A2. Thank you, bye!